Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Saiyan. Today is a very cool top 5 best stories list and I hope you enjoy. Doctor Strange's greatest enemy is Dormammu, Lord of the Dark Dimension, Keeper of the Mindless Ones. This guy is almost like the devil figure of the Marvel Universe, if not for Mephisto. Dormammu maybe has a surprising tie to Doctor Strange. He is Clea, Doctor Strange's love's uncle. In fact, Strange and Clea first met in Dormammu's Dark Dimension. Dormammu took over the Dark Dimension and banished his sister, then on Earth assisted in the Salem Witch Trials, Jack the Ripper's murders, and other scary events. He also took in Baron Mordo to teach him dark magic. So now, here are the top 5 best Dormammu stories. Number 5, Consumption. This was a one issue story in Doctor Strange Volume 2, Issue 9. In the story, Dormammu has broken through a magic barrier and has come to Earth, specifically Arizona. He was, so to say, helped back by his sister, Umar. Umar actually steals his powers and fights this character called Orini. After some help from Clea, Dormammu's influence on Earth is ended and Orini is allowed to take Umar back to the Dark Dimension. Honestly, this is a really fun one and done Dormammu story. It's classic Dormammu and his sister. Before this, I never even knew about her. This one issue did a great job at showing us how just the presence of Dormammu is terrifying with all he can do and how he can corrupt normal people just like that. His sister was the real threat of the issue actually. This is probably the most you can get out of Dormammu's stats in just one appearance. Number 4. In the shadows of death, I Dormammu, while a world awaits. This story is a three-parter across Doctor Strange issues 171 to 173. Dormammu has tricked Doctor Strange to fight an illusion and is now a giant sized and in possession of Clea. Yeah, Dormammu was not defeated by Eternity in his last story. He went to the Nameless Dimension, and now Doctor Strange is the only one in his way from getting into the doorway of dimensions. Dormammu really plays up his fear factor in the story. Doctor Strange is getting weaker by the second, and Dormammu is stronger than ever. His dialogue in the story really puts these exact moments on top. Dormammu views everyone as beneath him, and he fights his own sort of adventures here, as he fights different creatures and plans to enter multiple new dimensions. Everything about this story shows off my favorite parts of Dormammu as a unique Marvel Comics rogue, and I also think the story is a little underrated. Number 3. Love is the spell, the spell is death, the unbearable lightness of being. Oh yeah, this was the very first two issues in the series, Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme. A fun fact, this technically took place during the Inferno X-Men storyline. In the story, the series opens with the apparent death of Doctor Strange, with the Avengers and many other heroes at his funeral. There's a little bit more to this involving Secret Wars too, but it doesn't matter for this video. And then this happens, because Dormammu has taken over Stephen Strange's body and calls other black sorcerers to follow him and destroy Doctor Strange's spirit. Yep, in here, Dormammu is all powerful and almost wins. What a way to start this series. In fact, this rogue is believed to have been destroyed in Doctor Strange Volume 2, Issue 51. The reason I think this is one of his best stories is because we get Dormammu after he has achieved his goal, Doctor Strange's greatest enemy has won, so what's next? I mean, he really just tells Wong everything that's happened and then ignores him. He even gets rid of the Baxter building. We learn he doesn't consider good and evil and just views himself as superior overall. The ending proves Dormammu hates Doctor Strange as much as Strange hates him, and he purely focuses on killing Strange when it's found out he's back. In the end, they get rid of Dormammu by giving Strange his body back, so this story is a great two issues story. And it also can be seen as a one and done moment for a Strange vs. Dormammu, if that's all you want. But it also has a unique moment, done the best way in Dormammu's mythos. Number 2. If Eternity Should Fail, Beware, Dormammu Was Watching. The Pincers of Power, Let There Be Victory. This was Across Strange Tales, issues 138 to 141. Baron Mordo has kidnapped the Ancient One's unconscious body, and Clea has put them into the Dark Dimension. And when there's all in the Dark Dimension, it's a battle between Dormammu and Doctor Strange, and Dormammu calls every sorcerer to watch the fight. The fight in the story are kind of silly looking, especially comparing it to all the other battles, but it's the story, the emotion, the life or death that puts you on the edge of your seat, especially since this is Dormammu about to win, during what's ultimately Strange and Dormammu's first finale in a story. This was built up over like 10 issues, but I'm just putting the last four on here to tell a good story. 
We get to see Dormammu kind of assault his minion Baron Mordo and he flat out says that he's just a tool for him. I love that moment since Mordo has always been a really slimy character for me. At the end, Doctor Strange forces Dormammu to vow never to return his power against the Earth, but he gets the last laugh here as he banishes Clea to another dimension. This is just a really good story. Many people say this is Dormammu's best storyline, though it technically lasts a lot longer. You get it, I already said. This was the story that made Dormammu worthy of being Doctor Strange's number one rogue. But to me, number one is Mindless in Manhattan, Dormammu Ascendant, Mondo Mordo. Do not go gently into that dark night. This was a four issue storyline across Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, issues 21 to 24. Mindless ones have appeared in New York, and Dormammu has taken control of Clea's palace in the Dark Dimension. Now, Doctor Strange, Clea, Umar, and Baramardo all join up to fight Dormammu. Umar tricks Dormammu into ruling part of the Dark Dimension, ruling over the Mindless ones, while she, Baramardo, rule everything else, and Clea returns to Earth at the end. This story is his best one because it is the combination of all of the previous Doctor Strange Dormammu fight consequences coming back at him, Clea, Baron Mordo, and his sister, everything tying to Doctor Strange and Dormammu's rivalry and their adventures over the decades, all wanting revenge on Dormammu for his past actions of like capture, abuse, and banishment. It is also very interesting with a good ending, one where Dormammu gets what's coming to him, Umar makes a comp a compromise with the all-powerful Dormammu, which I like that they can't just beat him like you'd expect. He promises him his own dimension, and I already talked to you guys about that. The finale definitely does not undermine Dormammu's power, and even his brains. This is a full, all-in-one Dormammu character story, and the number one must-read for fans. And those are the top 5 best Dormammu stories. In the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 video game where he was the hardest boss fight, well, they weren't exaggerating his power. I really like to read about Dormammu's new appearances, and I was really surprised to see how much ties he does have with Doctor Strange's side characters. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good one.